All right, what's up, guys? Let's uh, let's do some more examples of span null space range for, for linear algebra. And I'm, I'm specifically going to be working through quiz 4.2 here. Um, but maybe you're just here looking for more examples. OK, so the first one is going to be compute span of the set. OK, we can do that. OK, I'm going to use black, though, not orange. I'll hurt your eyes on this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to compute um, you know, what are all the solutions to some number of this vector plus some of this vector equals some vector v, b, right? You know, what can we output? How can we linearly combine these? Whatever you want to say. So we're going to turn it into a matrix. Augment with b1, b2, b3, and row reduce and hope for the best. So I'm going to add two copies of row one to row two. So one, zero, that'll be six. And add one copy of row one to row three. So that'll be zero, also six. Okay, that's, that's convenient. Okay, so that'll be b2 plus 2b1, because we added two there. And this will be b3 plus b1, because we just added one copy down there. Okay. So I know right now that these two things need to be equal okay, in order for this to be consistent at all. And, but really, there's not going to be anything else that needs to happen. right? What's gonna ha how this is going to play out is I'm going to maybe divide this by 6, add or subtract it up, you know, get rid of it, and I'll end up with um, well, 1, 0, 0, 1, and 0, 0, and basically this minus that. So I just know that these two things need to be equal to each other. So now at this point I can say, okay, I've got b2 plus 2b1 equals b3 plus b1. So what I might say is that b3, I'm going to subtract just to solve for b3, um, b3 is equal to b2 plus b1. Okay, so the set of all possible outputs of these things is, I'm going to Yep, still got plenty of room. Span of S is equal to the set of all three-dimensional vectors. So maybe I'd say B and R3, such that B equals, and I might actually write out the vector, right? B3 in terms of B1 and B2. B1 can be whatever it wants. B2 can be whatever it wants. B3 is equal to the sum of the first two. All right. Oops, can't see my edge my set but okay let's just actually add some number of these together let's just start by adding them together four negative two two but if we add the first two it's gonna work okay let's add I don't know ten of these to one of these it's like how there's no way that's gonna work right so ten plus three is thirteen negative twenty plus zero is gonna be negative twenty so I've got 13 and negative 20. And then I have 10, negative 10 plus 3 is negative 7. It, sure enough, right, it just works. It's linear algebra. Okay. Now we're going to compute the range of A. Okay, so we're going to basically be doing the exact same thing. We're just going to kind of augment with B1, B2, B3, and row reduce. So I'm going to do that right now. little small for you know my handwriting but it's okay um, we'll start in by adding row 1 to row 2 and row 3 1 0 0 negative 1 1 2 adding so adding that 0 isn't going to change these and adding a 1 would be here and then that'll be 2 oh look already that's good news um, so this is B2 plus B1. This is B3 plus B1. And now I'm going to have, let's see, what am I going to have? Uh, okay, the third row is clearly twice the second row. And if I make this, you know, if I go to subtract this away and add it up, I'll have 1, 0, 0, 1, some other stuff and then a row of all zeros, and then I'll have this minus two of these. So maybe I'll just say B3 plus B1 minus two of B2 plus B1. That's gonna be equal to zero. 
right? Because when I subtract two of this row from that row, I'm going to end up with a row of all zeros. So whatever I have over here, well, that's going to be need to be zero. All right, so maybe I can do a little bit more work on this, right? Because I'm going to be subtracting two B1s. So I've got a negative B1 minus two B2 plus B3 equals zero. I could say B3 equals B1 plus two B2. But maybe just to write it a different way from how I wrote the span up above, right? I could write this as a, as a vector, no, no problem. Um, just like I did before. But maybe this time I'll say range of A is the set of all vectors X and R3 for which negative X1 minus 2X2 plus X3 equals zero. Okay, and that's, that's an option you've got. You can write it like this, you know, with the defining equation. You can write it here as a vector, whatever you want. It's just like kind of in the next unit. Then we get the terminology to where we have to express our answer in a certain way. Which, you know, once we get the basis vectors, that'll be it'll make my job of grading much, much easier. But, you know, this is not about my job being easy or difficult. This is about you learning how to do some, some matrix algebra here. So let's compute the null space of matrix B. And this is going to be the easy one, right? Because we're just going to augment with zeros and row reduce. Okay, so one, zero, zero. Okay, I'm subtracting two of row one from row two, so that'll still be a one, and I didn't do anything to row three, so I'm still got a one. And then I'm subtracting two of row one, so that'd be three minus four is negative one. Okay, that's still negative one, this is a good sign. All right, so once I add, or subtract away, I'm gonna end up with Okay, that's far as I can go. I'm in reduced echelon form. I've got the maximum number of pivots I'm gonna be able to, you know, kind of uncover, and each pivot is the only non-zero entry in its respective column. So I'm gonna say, all right, here we've got x1 plus 2x3 equals zero, and x2 minus x3 equals zero. So it looks to me like x1 equals negative 2x3, x2 equals x3, and x3 can be whatever it wants. Okay. So I'll say that the null space of A is equal to the set of all three-dimensional vectors x, for which, um, you know, I don't want to write two equations. I just want to write the least amount of things possible. So I'm just going to say x equals the vector um, negative 2x3, x3, and x3. Okay. And what else was I going to say about this? I was going to say, oh, if you wanted to factor out the x3 and say it was all scalar multiples of the vector negative 2, 1, 1, you'd be welcome to do that. Um, but if you didn't, this would be a perfectly safe place to stop, right? So we've computed the null space of b. Now we're going to just repeat this again for form e. Uh, that was probably not wise for me to start with form f. But, you know, y'all are linear algebraists, so I have a feeling that if you saw me working a problem that clearly wasn't the one you had on yours, you've been with me before, you know I give two forms to everything, so you were going to just scroll ahead to halfway in the video and maybe here you are now. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. Um, and, okay, we're going to put them together into a matrix. Yeah, this is like this set of vectors is the same as the matrix I just worked, but I'm going to do it again for you because it really doesn't matter. Um, it's about the practice. Okay, span, I want to figure out what are the possible outputs when I linearly combine them, uh, these vectors in the set. So I'm going to, okay, I'm going to, I didn't want to have any advertising in the background of, the, of this video. I can't have that. Zero, one. One. I subtracted two row ones from row two. Okay, so if you're just joining me, I've already worked this matrix once. So uh, three minus two twos is going to be a negative one. So B1, B2. Oh, but I was computing the null space of this matrix. So while the row reduction steps are going to be the same, the actual result will be quite different. Um, okay, so B1, B2. And what's going on here? Um, B2 minus 2B1s. And B3. I did not change. 
Now, what's going to happen is I'm going to subtract this away from here, and I'm going to end up with a row of all zeros, and one, zero, uh, zero, one, uh, two, negative one. Okay, and that would, these instructions would be like, you know, how to get the linear combination to equal whatever vector you wanted in the span. But that's not what I'm interested in. I'm in what, in, interested in what is the span? Like, what are the possible outputs? Not how do I get to those possible outputs from these three vectors? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to say, all right, I know that these two things need to be equal because these rows are equal. So the span of S is going to be the set of all ve vectors B in R3 for which B3 is equal to B2 minus 2B1. Right? Define that one in terms of an equation. It really, I don't care if you give me an equation or you give me the vector. Same information, right? So null space of A, gladly. I would happily compute the null space of a three by four matrix. That's, that's the easy job, right? So we're just gonna row reduce this thing um, with, uh, augment it with zeros. All right, so I'm going to, what am I gonna do here? Oh, I'm just gonna row reduce. Completely lost myself for a second. Okay. Negative one, adding down, that becomes a one, adding down becomes a two. All right, I didn't, I added, you know, row one to row two and row three, but I'm adding a zero to those, so it's not going to change it. So adding, right, subtract two copies of row two from row three. Hold on, I'm gonna actually not do that. I'm gonna also get rid of that negative one right there in the same step, just because I see it coming. I know that I write large and I'm not gonna have enough room to do a whole bunch of, of matrices. So I'm gonna add up and I'm gonna get zero, one, and then this is all zeros. All right, so I've got that. And now when I added back up there to get rid of that, I'm gonna have a one and a two. And yeah, well, that's still 1, 1. And these are still zeros, of course, on the right side because there's nothing that I can do to make them not zero. Okay. That's as far as I can go. I'm in reduced echelon form. So I'm going to say I am in a situation where x1 plus x3 plus 2x4 equals zero and x2 plus x3 plus x4 equals zero. So I'm gonna have two free variables here. That's interesting. So x1 is, I can solve for x1, and x2 I can solve for in terms of x3 and x4. So I'm going to say that the null space of A is equal to the set of all x in uh, R4, for which x equals, and then I'm gonna actually just spell out the vector because that seems like it'd be easiest. x1 is equal to negative x3 minus 2x4. This is negative x3 minus x4. x3 and x4 can be whatever they like. Okay. And, well, that's a null space of matrix A. Okay. We're going to now compute the range of matrix B. So we're going to augment this with B1, B2, B3. Range, column space, same thing. We're going to find the column space. We're going to figure out, you know, like what's what's really, what can we get back when we multiply this by some two-dimensional vector? All right. So uh, I guess we'll just get to it, and we'll start by adding two copies of row one to row two, and so that's a six. Adding one copy of row one to row three, and so that's going to be also a six. Right? Yeah. And then I'll have, this is still B1. This is B2 plus 2B1 and B3 plus B1. Okay, and what am I gonna do from here? All right, the range. And we're looking for conditions on B for which this system is consistent. And it's gonna be consistent just as long as I don't have zero, zero, one. Right, so when I subtract these, which I know I'm going to do to get rid of that six, okay, row three minus row two, I'll have 
B3 plus B1 minus B2 plus 2B1. Okay, right, because I, I'll have that right here in this, in this slot, and I'll have 0, 0. So this can't be non-zero. This has to be zero, okay? Meaning that um, B3, B1 minus 2 b ones is going to be B3 equaling, because it's going to be negative B1, right? So I'll just push that over to the other side, and then minus B2. Oh, we already did this one in... Uh, you know, it's this number. This is very similar to number one on the other form because it's asking for the span. But we know that the range of a matrix is the span of its columns. So the range of matrix B, still in my shot, is the set of all vectors B and R for which B3 equals B1 minus B2. Right? I could have also said, you know, B1, B2. B1 minus B2 if I'd felt like instead there. I could have written that in there instead. It's whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's all I got for you for this video.